Welcome back to Boodle Wiggles Tutorials and uh, this one is a little tutorial about uh, reducing your stars and then bringing back brighter stars into your image. So what I've got here in front of me is a image of the Trifid Nebula. It's got nice lots of stars in it which I can show you uh, how to do this. So we start off with our background layer here. Um, I have darkened it and uh, brought out the stars a little bit more but essentially nothing has been done to the stars yet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate this background. So we're going to drag it down to the little icon next to the bin and duplicate it. And then uh, what I want to do is to select the stars and reduce them. So to do that we go to select and we go to color range and in the little box that says select we choose highlights and press OK and then we want to expand that selection so we're going to go to select modify expand and expand that selection by 4 pixels and press OK and now we want to feather that selection so we're going to go to select modify feather and we're going to feather that by two press ok so what we've done there is we've selected the stars not all of them we've selected the main ones um, and there are many ways of selecting stars so if you know of a, an alternative way of selecting stars then you go ahead and use that but this is a, a quick and easy way of doing it so we've selected the stars we've expanded that selection and feathered it the next thing we want to do is to um, reduce these stars. So now we're going to press Control H, and that will simply hide the selection for the time being. And then uh, we're going to go to Filter, Other, and we're going to go to Minimum. And you'll see straight away that all the stars get reduced. And there's a radius of one pixel on here, and I'm going to say OK. And um, the next stage is to, now that we've reduced the stars, you can, if you like, you can go to Edit, and you can go to Fade Minimum, and you can fade that effect, but I'm not going to fade it because I want to show you uh, what I'm going to do next. So, having done that, the next stage is to press Control H again, and that will bring back the selection of the stars. And then we're going to press Control J. And what that will do is that will create a new layer with just the stars that are selected up here. So if I press the little eye icon next to the bottom layer, as you can see, there are stars selected. Bring those back again. So what we've got at the top here is all our stars selected. And these are the bright stars um, but in the middle layer if I if I take off the other ones you can see what I'm talking about. Those are the reduced ones. Take off of those and those are the big ones. So put them all back and now what we're going to do is we're going to delete the middle layer, the background copy, uh, the second one we did. So I'm just going to right click on that and delete that layer. Now I'm going to duplicate the background again because I, I always like to keep a copy of that in case anything goes wrong. And uh, then what I want to do is I'm going to go to layer 1. And now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get my um, eraser tool. And what I like to do now is just to go over the stars that are brighter in the image and just bring them back. So if I as you can see when I move my brush over these stars, it may be a little bit hard for you to see it on the screen, but I'm just going over these brighter areas and, it, and it's like painting on brighter stars because you've already reduced them, but it's nice to bring back some of the brighter ones back to their original size. It adds variation. You can bring them back there in the nebula. It's a, it just adds a bit of variation. It's quite subtle, 
but it's a really I think it's a really nice effect because it if your star field is all flat and uniform like any image it, it can be a bit dull so by doing this now I'm just painting back the full size stars some of them so like this area here if I wanted them all to be a little bit big I'll just fill them in um, and you know you can be use your imagination if you want yes yes I know that it's not really accurate in terms of what we're looking at in the sky but I'm not too worried about that I actually just want a beautiful image that I'm happy with and I like this method so if I now click off the eye on the star field you can see that the difference it's making there so give this little uh, method a go it's something that I've been trying now uh, for a while and I, I like the effect that it produces so what you're doing is you're um, selecting your stars you're reducing them and then you're creating a star layer and then you um, are rubbing out um, some of the stars but that brings back the brighter stars so you can paint when all your stars have been minimized and, and made small you can then get your brush and start painting in some back to their original size and create a bit of variation in your uh, in your image so there you go that's a, a nice way of uh, adding back brighter stars to your image there's a lot more to be done to this image to get it the way I want it to be but I just wanted to show you this little method I'm using and I hope that's useful to you um, and I'll see you in the next tutorial that I do I must apologize for the sound in some of my other tutorials um, I've yet to get myself a good uh, microphone but uh, I hope you can hear what I'm saying reasonably clearly and I hope these tutorials are useful to you and um, clear skies I'll see you again soon